The gaming license revocation hearing scheduled for April 2nd is delayed to April 9th at 10 a.m. at the Commonwealth Casino Commission office. The Commission's Vice Chair Ralph Demapon informed KUAM of the CCC's vote to reschedule over the weekend as Imperial Pacific International filed an emergency temporary restraining order calling to stop it. House lawmaker Marissa Flores spoke out about the matter at a recent session. She noted that it was 10 years ago that the public law was signed to authorize, establish, and regulate an exclusive gaming license. Regarding the recent emergency temporary restraining order filed by IPI, claiming that their due process has been violated, the Commonwealth and its people have been violated and denied too. If the Commission decides not to revoke their license, the Commonwealth and its people should recommend to the Governor to immediately take action and remove the members of the Commission. It's time to move forward. $73 million from IPI that is due will allow some breathing, breathing space during these difficult times. Senator Karina Magofnia, who chairs the Gaming Committee, said she hopes they can find a middle ground. We spoke to her after last week's CCC meeting. We need to figure out what we want to do with the casino and the industry itself. So I am hopeful that, you know, we could still salvage whatever is left provided that we are very, very careful, you know, in the actions that we take going forward and we put controls in place to ensure that a lot of the things that has happened in the past does not uh, happen again. Tomas Manglonia, KUAM News, Saipan.